I'm using the same lights that I used on my last boat, these LED strips. I drilled a 5 16 hole right in the front of my boat and then I put a little 5 16 grommet in the hole and then fish the wire through the boat and it's gonna the wire is gonna run under the deck and back that way tie them together and tie them to the switch panel I uh, use a little alcohol pad to wipe this off that way this double stick tape ought to adhere real good all I gotta do is wait on that to dry and I'll put it together Alright, I was able to fit both batteries in there with this lid on. It's real tight getting them in and out, but it's going to work, and I am happy about that. I was worried that the width of this is actually narrower than these batteries, but I got enough room lengthwise to kind of turn it to the side and put it in there. I'm just going to have to space them out a little bit, just right where they are, and I can go ahead and strap them batteries down, and I can start wiring some crap up. If you're wondering why I got these Super Start batteries, it's a real scientific reason why. Because I had to go to four stores to find two Marine Deep Cycle Group 27 batteries. So that's why I went with them. And in my opinion, now y'all can argue amongst yourselves in the comments about this, but if you're just going for kind of like an economy battery, I think, you know, all of them's just about as good as the rest. And you know i was going to go to walmart i went to two different walmarts to get the everstart batteries i've had everstarts before in boats and i haven't had any problems with them as long as you take care of your batteries keep them out of the weather when you're not using them they're going to do fine now if you got the money and you want to get an optima blue top man more power to you i'm sure those are really awesome batteries but for chris i'm not spending 300 something dollars on a battery much less two of them so these super starts i got them from o'reilly today I've never had a super start before, but like I said, I think as long as you take care of them, they'll last you a long time. I think I got everything wired up in the back of my boat. I went ahead and mounted my bilge pump, and I got the exit hose run around this brace. Coming up through the other side, I got to get some clamps. And I'm gonna just clamp it like right here cut it off clamp it right here maybe put another clamp right here on this brace to keep it kind of clean looking and I got it wired up I also have my anchor light I got it wired up and run down the bottom in a wire loom and then the wires to the bilge pump is running to it and i got all that running to the front of the boat and i'm gonna put all those wires in a wire loom but i'm gonna wait till i'm closer to done make sure everything's 100 percent right before i put that on and i also went ahead and mounted my transducer i just drilled it right to the the transom of the boat i hate to do that but i mean what else am i going to do i know they sell them plates that you can glue on and then they have them poles that you can hook that look kind of like a trolling motor i just i don't like that but i ran it up and it is going to run right through here and that line is running below my transom and into this side of the boat and the transducer line is right there and then I also went ahead and run 
a line from the battery, the power line to the transducer, and the fish finder, and it's right here too. And what I'm gonna do, once I get that unit back, is I'm just gonna mount it like right here on top of this little deck. That way, when you're sitting right there driving the boat, you can see it. All right, that's cool, I'm glad it's done. Picked up these little clips here and mounted them to this seat. That way I can take this anchor light. Secure it right there so it's out of the way. I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of this rat's nest electronic stuff I got going on right now. <clears throat> so I'm running two batteries. They're both group 27. This battery right here is going to run my trolling motor and my depth finder. So it's kind of cut and dry. Our, these two wires right here are going straight from the depth finder power cord. And of course, I, I don't think I ever showed this in any videos, but I went ahead and put my two bank charger right here on the port side of the boat, kind of tucked away out of sight. And it is ran to this battery on one bank and then I got the other one which is I don't have any of this stuff cleaned up that's why I said a rat's nest it's going around to the other battery and this other battery will power everything else uh, which isn't a whole lot it's going to be the bilge pump my navigation lights um, I got some interior lights to go in the boat basically did the same thing as the last boat I got a kill switch right here this I got a positive running right off the battery to the kill switch you turn it on and then it has a power switch that goes right to this fuse block and of course your fuse block has a negative side and a positive side positive side goes to the kill switch and the negative side goes right to the negative terminal of this battery and this fuse block is a lot smaller than the last one I got because I ended up having just so much on the last one this one has six spots and it come with this little cover and that's what I have wired so far the running lights the bilge pump and then the interior lights like I said I got them wired to the switch all I got to do is run the lights and then hook them up to the other part of the switch so all the grounds to everything are going straight to this side and then of course these positives are going to the power part of the switches. Now these switches were all looped together. I still haven't disconnected these last three. They're still all tied together. So if you turn on this switch right here, it's gonna give power to these two switches too. But I went ahead and cut the loop between these two. And basically I just took a little wire nut and capped off one end. And the other end is going to my switch panel which that leaves you the middle prong which is the whatever you're trying to power like this line right here is coming straight from my bilge pump in the back and as you can see it's connected to the middle switch now all you got to do obviously is turn your power on this is my switch panel you turn it on like before, like the way they have this wired from the factory, if you turn this on, it powers every one of these switches. So they're all run off one fuse. And I've got these three broken up. So they're all going into it, its own individual fuse. So this is my navigation lights. It's on. And my lights are on. So I don't have my anchor light plugged in right now. And then, of course, the bilge pump. And then my interior lights. Like I said, I don't have that wired up yet. But, like, right now, these lights will come on because they're all tied to this one hot. I'm not sure what... Uh, I might not even use these two switches, so that's why I haven't broke them up yet. So pretty straightforward. I'm getting a little bit better about wiring. So maybe the next boat build I do... I'll do like a more of a how-to wiring because I'm just not confident with wiring yet to actually 
tell somebody else how to do it. Like I don't even really want to film myself doing it because, uh, like I said, you know, messing with wiring and stuff, you, know, you can burn your boat down. So I don't want anybody blaming me because I wasn't, you know, thorough enough with how I explain stuff or shoot, maybe I did something wrong. But I, this one went a lot better. It's going a lot better. I still have a few things to wire up, but uh, gaining confidence slowly but surely with my uh, electrical capabilities. That is what I can wire up right now. I still need to get my trolling motor in, which I haven't even ordered yet. I, I'm, I'm still up in the air about what to do about a trolling motor. What I was wanting to do is take the trolling motor off my big boat, which it's a 55 pound 12 volt edge, and I was gonna put it on here. I was wanting to get the Minn Kota Tarova iPilot for my big boat, but I, nobody in the entire country has one in stock right now. And I don't know how long it'll be. And I don't wanna be held up for forever waiting on a trolling motor. So that's what's holding me up right now. So I mean, I wanted to do the majority of the wiring that I could. I mean, I'm getting a, I got a lid right here so you can access all this stuff. Then obviously the one in the middle where you can get to the batteries. So I'll still be able to do wiring and stuff, but I wanted to get the bulk of the wiring out of the way before I put this deck on. Man, I might be there. So we'll have to see about that. I picked up some of these real cheap LED lights and I put two of them, one inside this hatch and one inside that other hatch and went ahead and split up this switch right here and hooked it up so now i'll have a little bit of light inside these two hatches if i ever have to access them to work with anything or get something out of that hatch if it's dark I'll close out the video with my party lights. Now, I can't remember why I got green lights. They showed up, I plugged them in, they was green. It could have been a little bit of alcohol influence involved, but we'll just say that it matches the theme of the boat. But anyhow, that's basically it for the wiring of this boat. The only main thing I got left is a trolling motor, and as soon as it gets in, I'm gonna start working on it. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you on the next one.